Ooh. Hey guys, today we have a really cool project. I'm here with a couple of my friends. We're escaping this flow tank. You've probably already seen the concept from Pantarai. So we have a double bottom here. So there is a strong water flow inside the tank. And this is going to be some sort of biotope style layout for panda loaches. So let's kick in the intro and check out the hardscape afterwards. Guys, you have seen the hardscape and it's really, really cool. You can almost feel the flow of the water, how it comes from the right side and has formed the roots of, I don't know, some kind of a dead tree going all the way from the right to the left side. And kind of really cool small table you can slide out uh, from the cabinet of this aquarium. It's an entire DIY built, unfortunately. I wasn't a part of the whole process. If you're wondering how the whole hardscape is holding together, so the guys they have used super glue and they cover the super glue with a little bit of soil dust so you don't see the white markings. Next steps, the guys, they have filled in the soil and created some sort of like soil pockets for, you know, kind of separate the soil from the sand areas. They were like round shape uh, river pebbles used. And for the small gaps in between the rocks, filter wool has been used to block those small gaps so the soil cannot come to the front. As a final touch, some smart gravels have been added. Those gravels are almost the same type like the pebbles in the aquarium. So some are bigger, some are smaller. I already like how it's looking and before you ask any questions about the LED, um, this is some sort of custom built LED by a German brand called Aqua Grow. Uh, you can find a link to them in the description below. Fully controllable, everything, but like I said, it's like a custom built model. And next we're going to prepare the plants and put them inside and yeah, guess what kind of plants we're gonna use here? Of course, real five plants, mosses, pussyphalandras and ferns and some crypts and some special things as well, so stay tuned for the planting. Okay guys, now it's time to talk about plants. Meanwhile, there's already water inside that because we let the robust osmosis water run in slowly. So the entire planting process started with the Cyperus helferi in three major soil pockets in the middle of the island. Cyperus helferi was side planted by Hygrophila uruguaya and Cryptocorini hobbit. Also, three major pockets were created in the bag where uh, basically Cyperus helferi was mixed with Yunkus repens, and some Hygrophila uruguaya has found its place in the background as well. 
towards the foreground you can see lots and lots of small pussy phalandras uh, those species are mini needle leaf and whatever those names are I will list them all down in the description below Basically, we have a mix of Cryptocorani parva, Dwarf Pussy Phalandras, Hygrophila Uruguaya, Cryptocorani Hobbit, and Cyperus Helferi, as well as Yunkus Repens. Further on top of the driftwood, we have added Pusifalandra species, some Bolbitis hardelotti, just tissue culture, very very small, Hygrophila pinatifida, as well as Fissidens. And regarding Fissidens, I just recorded a little pro tip. You will find a link up here. So how we added the Fissidens, we wrapped it around small filter wool patches and super cool technique to add it in the driftwood. Going forward, we're going to finish adding those fissidents to the tank and fill it up uh, to the top and I'm going to show you how it looks when it's finished. The tank is finished and at the final steps we have glued some moss and panetifida on the upper areas of the driftwood sticking out of the water and as a byproduct just recorded a second pro tip over here so make sure to check out the link up here or just later on in the description or if you have subscribed you will get it. So it was a really cool project to be here, invited by my friend Sebastian and the other guys, Dennis and Florian. Uh, all of the guys are linked down below if you want to stalk them, uh, if that's something you're into. So I will wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, you know, the creation process. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the hardscape part, but well, so is life. Guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.
guys, now it's time to... Hallo. <lacht> 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 ist Teppich weggeflogen.